In this quick video, we're going to conduct a very simple but uh, very helpful phonological analysis, percentage of consonants correct, using a session that's been transcribed in FON. So for this exercise, we are going to need the demo project available on the FON website, and you're going to browse for project, and then find the folder containing the project. So make sure you aren't entering the folder but you're actually just selecting the folder itself with the project and it must be unzipped if it's not already. Select the folder and click the select folder button. This will open the project in FON and you can do, use this um, method to open any project that's not in your workspace. You can see that we have two corpora and we're going to be using the and corpus and the one session that's completed for her. Now this is the same media file that we used for our other exercises, but this time we're going to use the default session that's included in the demo that's fully transcribed. It's a very short session with only 19 recordings, so the analysis that we're going to conduct isn't going to really be that informative about this child because the session is so short, so it's not really a very thorough sample. But this is just to give you an idea of the things that Fawn can do. When you want to do um, an analysis, you're going to go to the analysis window, and here there are a number of different options for analyses that are um, automated and already sort of built into FON, and you can just select some. FON can also allow you to do much more complex analyses and queries that you create yourself or edit from other queries existing in FON, but for this video I'm just going to show you a very simple analysis that you can conduct. We're going to click PPC, which stands for percent phones correct, and we're going to select just the session for Ann for our analysis. So the PPC query in FON allows you to choose whether you want to do percent consonants correct, percent vowels correct, percent phones correct, which would include both vowels and consonants. And we're going to do the more typical percent consonants correct. And this is more or less equivalent to the traditional PCC. PCC would be a relevant measure for this type of sample because it is a connected speech sample. If you would like to use the results of this analysis to um, if you would like to compare the results of this analysis against um, some criterion referenced information, you can check out the work by Schreiberg and Kwiatkowski. But here you can see what this analysis will look like. So we've selected percent consonants correct. You can choose whether you want to include diacritics in this analysis. So if you do in include diacritics, which is the default, then if you put an aspiration symbol on the child's production but there is not an aspiration symbol in the target, that's going to be counted as incorrect. Because the original PCC analysis does include, for example, distortions as errors, you certainly would want to include all the phonetic detail, including all diacritics. There are other features in FON which Usually you will not need to use if you're doing a simple analysis, but they are here if you want to explore more. After making sure that you've got this set up the way you like, I'm actually going to change the title to percent consonants, correct? So it describes more what I'm conducting here. And select this. Depending on how long your session is, that may take a longer or shorter amount of time. And you can also do this analysis on multiple sessions or multiple participants at the same time. Now this is the FON analysis report, which is giving us some information automatically. So we can see overall what the percent consonants correct is for this sample, and that was 57.5. We can see how many of those were instances of correct productions, substitutions, deletions, or appendices. You have that broken down for each word, and you can see how this measure was calculated. So with very little work on your part, so long as you have transcribed and aligned the session appropriately, you've got all of this information available to you with just a few clicks. Now, if you want to keep this information, you can choose to save it either as an HTML file or you can export the tables, which is what I like to do, either as comma-separated value files or as an Excel spreadsheet. And once you've done your first simple analysis, you can explore the other features of FON to see a lot more what FON is capable of.